All right, now it's 648. Pat Pagano is away on vacation. He'll be back on Monday. Dan Henry is ably filling in for him. And uh, Dan, uh, the big story for Dan this week is the uh, hot weather. Good morning, Dan. Hey there. Good morning. And and thank you for saying that I'm ably filling in. I do appreciate that. Well, you know, it's hard to fill in for a legend. Of course, it's big I, shoes to fill. I mean, he's uh, he's been in the business longer than I've been alive, if I'm being quite frank, and, uh, you know, got to try to learn the ropes, so to speak. Well, I've been in the business 52 years. <laughs> so I'm, wow. right there, I'm right there with Pat. <laughs> you might even have him beat. Well, I, I think I got him beat by a year, I think. Uh, but we both uh, wound up owning our own businesses, so it's not that bad. Uh, yeah, the majority of the last 30 years, basically— I've been my own boss, just about. So I've, it's been lucky. Not quite 30. I'll take that back. Probably the last uh, 26 years, I've been my own boss. So it's, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. But anyways, well, we're not the boss. We're not our own boss of the weather. Uh, it was uh, hot yesterday, uh, and uh, I would call it oppressively hot. I, I stayed inside. Uh, and uh, I guess today's looking more like yesterday? Yep. Uh, warm once again very warm yeah certainly uh the with the heat advisory in effect once again you know it's about the same as it was yesterday and that we did manage to get up to uh 97 at the airport in poughkeepsie so definitely uh hot there um i'm forecasting low 90s today so you could argue marginally better but you know that's uh, very marginally better because the heat index will still be 95 to 100 degrees across the area and there is a heat advisory in effect until eight o'clock that's issued by the national weather service there um so they are still forecasting a very hot day and then in addition to the heat today another factor that we're going to be watching closely is there will be some locally strong storms moving through the area and i know that there's some concerts and events going on tonight so definitely something to keep in mind for the outdoor plants tonight unfortunately the rain is most likely to move through between I'd say around three to six. So there will still be some impact probably to those outdoor plans. Tonight, though, it should be dry. And not everywhere is going to be, it's not going to be a washout, a widespread rain event. There will be some locally strong storms pushing through, possibility of a damaging straight line wind gust or maybe even some small hail. Um, but by and large, we'll be drying out by, say, six or 7 p.m. tonight. You know, and two weeks ago, uh, the same thing happened and up in the. Uh... South County, Massachusetts, they had micro down, a microburst, which produced that 80 mile an hour wind, um, which was which is simply amazing when you think about it. A microburst uh, having packing uh, hurricanes uh, force winds. So, and like, but like you said, folks, uh, just keep your eyes to the sky because this is not a general rainfall. If you happen to be in an area where there's a thunderstorm, you'll get the thunderstorm. But you could be five miles away, and there's no thunderstorm. So uh, so it's always wise to go prepared whenever you're going to go this afternoon. Be prepared. And especially that, you know, the time frame you gave, uh, Dan, because we're just east of the Catskill Mountains. And we get a lot of those storms that form and then they really get strong. They billow up very high in the atmosphere when, the, when, they, when, they, when they come over the mountains and they form over the mountains. So uh, our neck of the woods, we're really susceptible for those for those type of storms to form uh, with the uh, with the west to east flow that we have. Yeah, that certainly makes sense um, with the air passing over the mountains and then, you know, condensing, and then uh, yeah, you know the rest. But um, <laughs> it looks to me like the worst of it's going to go to the north. Um, if you want my opinion on that, I think you probably do since uh, you had me call in. But uh, <laughs> but uh, I think the, the worst of that's going to go to the north. Um, I'd say up toward Vermont, New Hampshire, and the state of Maine, um, they're going to probably receive the brunt of the energy from this front. And um, that's where the Storm Prediction Center has uh, circled in the highest chance of strong storms today would be in those areas, western Massachusetts. And... Uh, by and large to the east of the Hudson River Valley. So um, I'm optimistic that the storms will be few and far between um, in this area. So that's what I'm hoping for, certainly with all the events going on. The farther east you go, the better chance you have of running into some strong stuff tonight. All right, now will these uh, thunderstorms break the heat wave or will we still stay warm and humid? 
Well, still staying warm. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, pattern doesn't change a whole lot as we head into the latter half of the work week and then into the weekend. In fact, I actually see the temperatures going one direction, and that's up. Um, overnight tonight, actually pretty comfortable, mostly clear and mild, up for 60s. Friday, sun and clouds, a few stray uh, late-day downpours. I can't rule those out. Low 90s for a high. Friday night, isolated showers early, so we're keeping the little bit of rain here and there sort of situation going uh, Friday night, start off the weekend, mid-60s, but we warm from the mid-60s to the mid-90s on Saturday afternoon with the heat index feeling like 100 both Saturday and Sunday, very hot and humid both days, mid-90s for both weekend days. So now, uh, did you see where the Mars, Mars rover found a bundle of, of string on Mars? <laughs> I did not see this. Yeah, it gets a picture of a bundle of string. Kind of makes you wonder. <laughs> Hopefully it fell off the Mars rover itself. <laughs> but there it is, right on the Martian surface. Just a, a, Or maybe it's, it's some leftover dead uh, plant life. But it looks, they're, they're saying it's an it's a actual bundle of string. So... We'll have to see. Wow. We'll have to. We'll have to see what what comes of that. It's amazing what we can see now. But uh, first, it was the Hubble. Now we've got this new telescope. We've got a, a rover that's been running around on Mars, and we've got what uh, Voyager one and two, billions of miles out in the universe, still sending back data. Uh, they've been up there for fifty years. It's just amazing, the technology and uh, that goes into these things. We're so we're so small. In the in the scope of the universe, and uh, my knowledge of the my knowledge of space, my expertise of space extends to about about twelve miles <laughs> above the Earth's surface, and then uh, you probably know as much as me. But it still is fascinating to me to see all the you know things that we uh, are the pictures we're getting back. Of course, the, the James Webb Telescope, I believe it's called, the one that they yeah. just put up, the high res one. That's fascinating too. All the pictures we're starting to receive from that. It's a it's a nice time to be uh, you know. In the sciences and just with all the technology we have, just think of just think how small we are. I mean, we get just the pictures that we're getting from from billions of miles away, folks. As much as we toil and trouble and and do things on this on this earth that we live on, we're not even a speck. And and if you so if you go back and you watch Star Wars movies. And the, the the logo comes up long ago in a galaxy far away. It really means a lot now after we have how how far we can see into space and the different galaxies. It just really is amazing. It should it should make us all feel a little uh, a little less uh, rambunctious. That's all I'll say. All right. Well, uh, don't give don't give us a rambunctious forecast, but let's go over the forecast for today and the rest of this week. Sure thing. So for today, clouds building this afternoon with scattered showers and a locally strong storm possible for the early evening, low 90s for a high. Tonight, mostly clear and mild, uh, upper 60s. Friday, sun and clouds, then a stray late day downpour possible, low 90s. Friday night, isolated showers early, then clearing, mid 60s. And then the extended forecast for the weekend, Saturday, mostly sunny and hot. Mid 90s for a high that's 10 degrees above normal. Sunday, very hot and humid with scattered afternoon downpours. Mid 90s, feeling like 100. All right, Dan, have a good day. We'll speak to you again tomorrow. All right, you too, sir. Thank you. Take care. Uh, Dan Henry and the Weather Center with a check on our tri state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.